For cheap, safe, and reliable coin service, head on over to FeebleCoinZone.com and make sure to use Dirty at checkout. Get you that good extra discount on weight. Do you need games? Do you need codes? G2A has the total hookup. Dirty will also get you that extra discount. What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike, and today we got the top 50. We got legends. Wait, we got new five-star skillers, and you know I actually use and abuse those skill moves. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I wanted to wait for everything to drop so we can make one video, and I'm going to talk about the players I want to talk about. I'm about to rapid fire through these players quick and concise. Let's talk about it. Woo! If you like it, you want to support it, drop a thumbs up. FIFA 17 is almost here. Aubameyang, he will smash your girlfriend. He's got the high-low work rates the same way that he parties. He's either going zero or he's going to 100 and his weak foot improved. Damn it, man. You see Payet's card? Of course you do. Play him in the center of the pitch. He's a hashtag WW, a wasted winger, don't use him there. As Robin's hairline diminishes, so does his pace. So just expect that trend to keep on going. EA likes to slow people down. I'm sorry, Robin. This might be your last hurrah. You ever look at a player, and if he wasn't a footballer, you just think he'd be part of a gang? I don't mean that in a negative way. I just feel as if football saved Vidal's life. When I look at this guy, he just looks like he could be thugging. Not the five foot ten dude to mess with in the club, or if you see him in a back alley, keep walking, he's tatted up, he's rocking the stiff mohawk. If he hits you with that mohawk, it would hurt. Da-da-da! Da-da-da! Di Maria! Five-star skill moves? Ooh. As a winger, he's always been just so-so for me. Kind of predictable with those two-star on the weak foot. He ain't using both feet, but now he's at the five-star skill moves. Scoop turn is life. He's creative like an art student. Hashtag the return of the body faint. Don't even get me started on Rakitic. He's unappreciated. This is your friend that goes out to the bar with you. The wingman. He's putting together the program, even if you don't see everything happening all at once. He's two or three moves ahead. That's how Rakitic is going to be in FIFA. Don't doubt him. Don't doubt him. Am I the only one that believes Alaba should be an 89? He's the best left back, best center back, best CDM, best center mid you're going to have in your squad. Bump him a little bit more. He gives you everything. He's the Austrian maniac. Tony Cruz, we got to talk. You, myself, EA, we need to sit down in a room. You're 26 years old with 45 pace. That means you're moving... Like Pirlo at 36. There's no way. I just don't believe it. What did you do to EA Sports? Why? Why do they want to hurt your card so much? 45 pace. That means you only have one leg. You're barely walking. He's on the path of 30 for 30. He's going to be 30 years old with 30 pace. You're going down the route of a murder sacker. I can't believe this. I just can't. I watch you play. I think they're hoeing you out. We need to have an intervention. We can work this out. Cruz for 70 is what I'm pushing for. They got you at 45. Cruz for 70. At least 67, 68. Come on. He could run like Hummels. The return of Royce, FIBA 15 style. We don't need to keep talking about it. He's a cover player. Yeah. I enjoy watching Real Madrid play, but I'm not a fan of Pepe. He flops so much as a center back. How does he have 81 physical? I, I understand the 88 overall. I just don't like it. Maybe I'm just not a fan of Pepe, but he reminds me of the guy that has no masculinity. Like Pepe is one of those dudes that's wearing flip-flops. You could step on his toes and win the fight. I could slap you in the face, Pepe, and you're not doing anything other than the flop. Pepe spends half the match on his back complaining on the ground. I, I just not with it. I'm just not with it. Even if you're a Madrid supporter, let me know in comments. All right, he does too much. He's doing the most. Pogba's the golden boy. Six foot two. Eyes are not blue. He is going to dominate. Good luck to your opponents. He's sexting everyone's wives and girlfriends. He can't do any wrong. Pogba's going to kill it at Manchester United. He's in the running, not the running man, for best center mid in the game, hands down. We'll keep this simple. Griezmann, greater than Benzema. When have you ever said that? Aguero is teaching folks how to speak Spanish. 89, 89, 88. And you know his positioning. Oh, it's going to be so crisp. He never misses a run. He's ready for the through ball. He's a flash on the pitch, and his timing is always A1. United fans, you got to let me know, but De Gea can have as many prostitutes as he wants based on last year's season. Uh, he saved your, your squad. He saved the year for United because it was an ugly ugly United team last year to watch in terms of attacking and just the football proud. I hated it. I hated it. Uh, and I'm an unbiased there. I don't support United. I just could not believe the football I was watching uh, last year in the BPL. And yes, now it's just the Premier League. But De Gea, whoo, that's a dangerous goalkeeper card. Boateng, what do you want me to say? He's the best defender in the game. He will be. Huge, crazy physical, crazy defending. He's going to Big body everybody out of the way. Just gonna kill it. Ibra, 
moves to the Premier League, rating goes up. If he has a good season this year and he's off to a great start, guess what? He's getting those five-star skills. I think they hoed you out this year. I'm not going to lie, Eber. If you're watching, man, I think you got hoed out. With Neymar, the question comes down to, is he the third best player in the world? Let me know in the comments. Also, if he has five-star skills and five-star weak foot, so should Ronaldo. We can sit here and do a compare contrast with Messi and Ronaldo, but they're both going to be premium quality. That's probably an understatement. Ronaldo is always better in FIFA because he's bigger. And he's got the speed and the physicality, things that Messi lacks. But did you see 96 dribbling for Messi? 96 dribbling. And I actually believe that Messi is going to be an incredible center attacking mid. That's how I felt. This last year, that's going to carry over. Same type of thing. He's a creator. Let him do his thing. His passing should be better. Better than 86. I think Messi, as a creator and everything like that, he's got to have like a 90-something for passing. Has to. Has to! High-low work rates with Ronaldo? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's going to apply the pressure. 92, 92, 91. Good game. Good game. If you can afford him, good game. Uh, hopefully, you're playing well in FUT champion. Let's talk legends real quick because only about half of them interest me in terms of I gotta use this card. Ali and Jamie both look average for legend cards. Uh, they'll probably be on the cheaper side. I don't see them in high demand. Now my friends, Hernandez, that card looks very similar to a George Way. And if he is anything like Mr. George Way, he's a little bit smaller. Damn. Luis, you could be very popular among FUT players. The Frenchman, all right, let me talk to you for a second. So I have a couple friends that have played FIFA 17 uh, with EA, and they got to use the Legends, everything. They said he was not like Vieira, so I'm just throwing that out there now. He's not going to be as good as Vieira, based on my friends, and they are reputable sources. I take their opinion strongly into consideration. Ron, not excited. However, Rio, what? I tweeted this out. I know Rio Ferdinand wasn't slow in his prime, but I think 81 pace, they're giving him a lot of love. Do you think he was that rapid? I was thinking about 75, 76, but that card might be the best defender uh, in FIFA 17. I know he's an 88, but six foot four with 81 pace, 90 defending, 86 physical. Yeah, that's pretty good. Don't sleep on Overmars, considering he has so much speed. If he's good at getting in behind, he's gonna finish those 1v1s, five star weak foot. This is a strong word I'm going to use, but I think I adore Paul Scholes. I'm that much of a fan. I don't know if that card's going to translate well into FIFA. We'll find out together. Statistics, he's not very big. There's a lot of things that Paul Scholes does well, and I just don't know if they translate into FIFA success or FIFA overpoweredness. Ah, Del Piero, mm, the Italian legend. I am pretty pumped up. I loved him as a player. I don't know about the low, low work rates. I wish he had four star skill moves, but I will be buying this card guaranteed. Ah, uh, love Mr. Del Piero. So this will be good money. Lastly, we've got the unorthodox Mr. Carlos. A five foot 10, a little bit undersized, 91 defending, 91 physical, not the fastest. We'll see how much pace matters in FIFA 17. We get our hands on it, really touch it down. I've always liked him as a player. I don't know how popular or how expensive that card's gonna be. There are better options if you're strictly going for wins with Legend. I only wanna talk briefly about some of the new five-star skillers. We touched base on Di Maria. It's important. If you're cutting inside, now you got that creativity, that extra little skill session that you can incorporate and skill moves are going to matter in FIFA 17 believe it El Shirari Woo! welcome back to the five star skill move club that card looks gross 87 pace 84 dribbling yeah buddy and the five star skills five foot ten we got a bronze five star skiller I just don't know how relevant that's gonna be bronze and silver players haven't been that popular in the last couple installments. It's been a while. EA, bring them back. Money Mares brings the five-star hype. It's deserved. Mm, this card is going to be highly sought after. Leicester City, what a year. What a year last year. Wow. This makes cutting inside so much easier. Dancing and prancing with the best of them. I believe the hype. I'm looking for that double step over one time. You're looking for a cheap five-star skiller? Go no further. Musanda. Mm, five-star skill moves. Five star weak foot. This man is fixing to tear the door down. Actually, he's tearing the house apart. Another bronze, we have Odua. And he is in the BPL, which means he'll be expensive. But what's the relevance? That's what I ask you. What's the relevance? Where are you going to use them? Unless you're just building a fun squad. Speaking of five star skillers, and I mentioned thugging it out with Vidal, Charisma. Yeah, that's another guy that I'm pretty sure would be involved in a gang 
or doing some suspect activity if he was not playing football. Did you see Tiago got five star? Why doesn't Ibra have five star? EA! EA! Why doesn't Ibra have five star skill moves? I don't get it. I don't get it. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please hit that thumbs up. I have a lot more coming for you ASAP, ASAP. You guys are ready for the tips and tutorials? Let me know. Let me know. And if you got any comments about all of this top 50, we got the legends, we got the skill moves. Hey, comments down below. Let's go. But until next time, peace.